people around the country honored the men that had finally gotten America into space. Van Allen and Brown, top spaceman scientists who hurtled democracy into the space age. They held a news conference, and Von Brown and Pickering and Van Allen held a backup explorer over their heads. And then America was at their feet. German scientist Werner von Braun had become America's rocket superstar. If we were to start today on an organized and well-supported space program, I believe... His partner, Army General John Medeiros, was the man who led the rocket team. Both men took this opportunity to break traditional military silence and began to speak out publicly about how they wanted the American military to take the lead and dominate space. Major General John B. Medeiros is the commander of the 5,000-man Army team that shot the satellite Explorer into space. Thank you so much on behalf of the team, Gary. Well, General, since a Jupiter C went into orbit, you have said that the next major war will be fought out of this world, and you feel our goal should be the, quote, domination of space. Is that true? Yes, that's right. Of course, I don't believe we're going to do it tomorrow, but it will be very soon, I think. And I think all Gentlemen, the conquest of outer space is the greatest technological challenge of the age in which we live. The first decisive step in the conquest of space will be the placing of an object into an orbit wherein it will indefinitely circle the Earth. Uh, you uh, are known as an advocate of transporting Army troops by ballistic rocket. Could you uh, elaborate a little on the Army thinking? We think the ballistic missile is a very suitable form of transportation. A nuclear war, you have to think not only in great depth of the battlefield, but also... They have this dream of turning space into a platform for war, of using missiles to send people send troops around the world in tubes like sardines in a can. They were looking at space as the next big weapons platform. The day will come when perhaps our major battles will be space battles instead of air battles. Uh, I certainly couldn't predict exactly when that will be, but I'm sure it will come in the future. I believe that uh, there's a definite possibility for launching guided missiles from an orbit to targets on the ground. The conquest of space will probably be of greater importance than we can begin to realize at the present time. And if we do not expend the thought, the effort, and the money required, then another, more progressive nation will. It is quite possible that an aggressor nation that dominates space will then dominate the world. We just can't let that happen.